It's the Alubond Abu Dhabi T10 powered by Sky247.net. Match number two on day three. And it is game eight. Team Abu Dhabi up against the Kalandas at this wonderful venue here. Heads is the call. Thanks very much, Danny. Time for the uh, Dream 11 team lineups and uh, Niall O'Brien alongside me. Just the one change. Great to see that one change. Uh, and uh, Hazmatullah is the man out for the Kalandas as Shahid Afridi comes into the side. And uh, so often we get used to seeing the big man, Chris Gale. It's got to be, got to be his spot in this game, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. He batted three yesterday. He's not as comfortable. He likes to just get out and get amongst it. But this is a lovely bit of by play. Shahid Afridi, two legends of the game. Both being around probably 20 years plus, absolute stalwarts, heroes. He's underway straight away with a boundary four, nicely played through the offside, just in front of square. Started similar yesterday, hit a lovely cover drive yesterday, and they got cleaned up second time round, got a little bit giddy, truth be told. So just needs to have a little look at use of conditions. Slower ball and just short, just short of mid wicket. It is a Freedy diving forward. Good to see. Yeah, Tanvir, he's a wonderful bowler. Unusual action, sometimes hard to pick up early. Big. Boundary riders, that one goes back with a square on the leg side. Little inside edge, thickish, pick up runs again, Sterling. Didn't get it out of the screws, didn't have to. He, he, look. This one over the backward point region, exactly where that fielder was. It's racing away, but they're going to have to run them, are they? That is brilliant work. For maybe the no ball over waste. We're checking for both here. I think he's got this, hasn't he? Yeah, brilliant work. Absolutely outstanding. And a deep backward square. He gets it fine, Chris Gale. That's a poor line. Because there is obviously protection at deep square leg. Just wants a little thick inside edge. Yeah, and it's still not a genuine sweep, is it, by any stretch? This one swung away. Has he got enough? No, he hasn't. Should be out, is out. When things are going your way, though, Sultan Ahmed, it works. This is a good catch. We've seen a lot of catches go down. This is good. Good experience. He knows exactly where the rope is. Good composure. <laughs> or mid-wicket, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> well and truly over that time. It sounded so good. 26 for one. Abu Dhabi. This one here, though, has lifted the spirits a little bit. Oi. Oh, clever. Very clever indeed. Oh, that's Ben Duckett to a tee. Yeah, you're right, Dooley. Just looking for the paddle and has the skill and the composure, actually, more than any other. Just to let it run off the face of the bat. Gets that one back with a square and away to the boundary for four. One bounce. Uncomplicated technique, stand and deliver it. Powerfully built. And he's in good form as well, so Abu Dhabi. Catch it! This one straight away over the offside. One bounce, two bounce, runs away for four. 15 off 11, even that one isn't still out of the middle of the bat. It's only had the two boundaries. Luke Wright's happy. Catch the thumbs up from the skipper. Catch oh, this one's nicked. He's going to be caught, though. He is. Yeah, trying to go through the offside. Yeah, thick outside edge. Ah, oh, this one's gone. Full swing of the arms. Has it gone all the way? No, it's not. Quarter demon wicket. Yeah, last ball of a Freedy's spell. And you just wonder, is this the right one to, to hit? I understand it's short format, you've got to go big. Oh, this one's splayed over the offside. Is it going to go all the way? Or is it going to plug? It's going to plug. It's the wickets that have fallen so far. Chris Gale caught in the deep. And Ducky with a big slash outside off stump. Just a short third. And then Sterling in the deep as well. Maybe could have just seen. Well, this one's gone now. Just where Sterling didn't quite reach all the way. This one's gone all the way. No, I think you're right, Lisa. It's a fine shot from Joe Clark. Just checked his swing. 
until the ball got there. This one's four as well. Very full. He exposes all of his stumps. That takes a huge risk, but he backs his skills to kind of blast it through the offside and did so effectively. Oh, this is four more as well. Uses his feet. Oh, and this one's hit away on the leg side. Has he got enough? Is it going to go all the way? It is. And it's Alibon Abu Dhabi. Oh, whipped away for four now. Joe Clark is really putting his foot down. Gem of a knock this. 29 from nine deliveries. Yeah, he certainly could because just take a look at what he's been able to do now. 29 off eight deliveries, strike rate of 322. In this whole tournament, the score around the 100 mark tends to be chased down with ease from the team batting second. Oh, clever, clever, clever batting. Has this gone all the way? The last delivery face from Jordan, he ran down the wicket, got it on the full toss. Jordan going for the Yorker. Pressure indeed. And this is very full, straight into the pads. Big appeal. But he came a cropper. Cropper. Yeah, just walking across his stumps, he wanted to open up that leg side region. I think he's, he's angry at himself because this one smashed out on the offside. Is it going to go all the way? It is. Through the line very well. He's kind of shaking his head, isn't he? Because he's like, oh, that's it. That's what I've been trying to do. Yeah, that's it. 100 exactly. Yeah, you can see Najibullah just slips there, but he gets up and goes. Ben Duncan had already taken the glove off just in case he wanted to change where he threw. Yeah, that's why you've got to make sure sometimes with a bit of grass, you've got to run on the pitch. Anyway, Ben Dunk, very simple to get to that 100 mark. And losing just the five wickets. Sterling started well, 29 from 16. Gale with five. Poor score for him. He'll be looking to do some big things in this tournament. Duck it, 15. And then Clark with a little gem, gem of a knock. 34 from 13 deliveries. 100 for five. And this is match day number three. It is match number eight. Oh, good start. A little bit of swing away from the right-hander from uh, Shinwari. Run it across the right-hander. Oh, goodness. No ball and punished. Cannot bowl there. Tom Banton so quickly onto that. You run up, you bowl a massive no ball. That is a big, big no ball. And this is Tom Banton's area. 37 of his runs in the first game came through the leg side. Oh, that's unacceptable. But you're looking to nick him off. You're looking to get wickets. You have to put them under pressure. More there. That was very full and might bring about four more for Banton. It does. Well, it's just demoralising for the fielding side. Easy, easy as you like. Big tall man, good stride to the ball. I think that's the one he broke. That's better. Where's your slip? Goodness me. Raced away for four. Well, hit the, big, hit the edge of that big broken bat. Yeah, may have just carry to a, a close, maybe one and a half. Gets downtown this time. What a wonderful shot that is. Shimmy's leg side, gives himself some room. What a start from Banton. Peppering this ball out of shape already. Tom Banton, not much behind it from Shamari. Not looking to shape it, just bowling on a length. That's it. Oh, gets it past, just past. Right, well, he's the only person on the pitch that probably would have got anywhere near that. Yeah, it's a good effort. It really is a fine effort. Oh, how well's he hit that? Tom Banton. Well enough. One bounce for four in the gap. Oh, lovely slower ball, beautiful start. He's going to be unlucky here. That's T10, I'm afraid, Naveen. I know it's early in your... Oh, carved away behind square on the leg side. Short and put away, Shajil, his first boundary. 
10 or 12 years. This is exactly where he wants. He's very strong in that region. He got to pitch the ball up. Well, straight up, this one should be out. Who wants it? Comfortable coming in from point. Naveen, full pace, very similar dismissal. That's game one. It's a good catch. Shajil is uh, six from five. Way behind, over the boundary four. Lovely timing. I think it's, it's not that easy. Uh, it's, it's totally a batsman, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, for a batsman. And uh, it's, it's not that easy. And if you, uh, are like I'm playing from last uh, 25, 26 years, so I have a little bit of experience as well. And uh, I know how to ball, uh, in, especially in these formats. Big tall man. Straight up, you'll get another one here, surely. This is the, oh my goodness me, no, never laid a hand on it. Handful of fresh air. Well, good start by Overton. Induces the false shot. Should be taken. It was Shinwari's all day long. Coming in from long on. Loses his footing here. Oh dear me. Oh dear me. That's an absolute Reggie. A Reggie blinker. That's more like it. Overcover point for the Maxima. Looking forward to this replay. Oh, they needed it. But you know what? It was pace on. Pace on with the outside off stump. Was able to really... Dream a little fantasy ball. Overton. And it's over to you to get fatted. Yes. First, it was last over that he found a maximum. Now, this time again, pace on. Oh, step inside, love. Pulling out the Scylla Black Classics. Yeah, the fact that he got inside the line. He knew that he wanted to hit it fine, didn't he? Oh, that swivel. Tremendous hands through the ball. <laughs> Shajil. Smoke. And again. And again. Six, which was came off the last ball of the last over. It's nicely played. Fielding should have been a little slicker than that. And finishes it with a full toss. Shajil. He finishes on 40 and 0 and a very, very comfortable victory. Well, it wasn't to be for those in yellow again. Yeah, whereas the Kalundas, two matches, two victories. And their skipper, Sahail Akhtar, scored 33 not out in the first game, finished 27 not out as well. So he seems to be the backbone when it comes to the Kalundas batting side and Shajil providing a wonderful 40 not out off 21 deliveries six boundaries one six the partnership exceptional 67 of 36 deliveries with plenty of balls left to spare and wickets of course